started to get a little better on as that drill went on is simulating, you know, obviously a loose puck in front, you butterfly now with the puck's lateral, you got to make a response. Initially, pushing too much, over pushing on it. Let's get all the pucks top of the circle over there. Nice beachfront setting. Cheese omelet, please. Yeah. And uh, fries and white toast. Right here. Uh, Thank you very much. I'm too close to it. It's in the middle. You guys fight for it, okay? Yeah. All right, thanks. I mean, the view's okay. Take a look outside. Holy shit. Right. Got a lot of trees. A lot of cars. Somebody has a Tesla in the parking lot. I really want a Tesla. I don't have the money for a Tesla though. Don't we all? This is dumb, dog. Why? What do you mean why? Look around. There was bugs crawling on the floors earlier. Get out of here, man! I'm trying to start. Okay. Look at all the sand on the floor. It's dumb. What did you give it out of ten? Uh, four. It's all right. Like that's comfy. We're walking outside of the parking lot in Florida, bro. Can't go above a five. We're paying like 150 US a night. It's probably like the cheapest place humanly possible in the area. So I will say three and a half stars. Okay, place. If you get more for the money, also the cheapest place possibly you can get to stay here. So that includes hotel reviews. Obviously, being at home, you have access to a kitchen, you have access to groceries, all that kind of regular stuff on the road in Florida. It's a little bit difficult. So Rob, he's kind of got abs. He's pretty good at eating. He's got his. He's got his. <laughs> all, got abs. He's got his olive oil ready for salad. We're gonna go to the grocery. Olive oil. Got an avocado here. We're gonna go get. We're gonna go muck it up. We're gonna go muck some go. good eats. Hold on. To good that, eats dog. on the road. Yeah, we're on the road. Why are we eating like this? Why not go to a restaurant? Max value. Such as? Biggest bang for your buck. Best nutrition. I don't know, man. I think restaurants are, you know, designed to make money and like make money off you and your habits. Eating poor quality food at a high price. And that is today's episode of Eats with Rob and Trav. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, so we just uh, were in the Florida Panthers locker room today. Uh, got invited in there. Shout out to my man Brian, the equipment manager, had us in. Bob, everybody knows, has been, oh, if you guys are followers of Trav, you probably know Bob's, the way Bob tapes his stick. Down the bottom handle paddle. Pretty cool, you can see that uh, the new grip that we have coming out the line, which is gonna go over the paddle, would you know be something that he might like. So I hit up the, the equipment manager and they had us into the room. Had a chance to talk to Bob and he saw what we were doing and he wanted to try it out. It's really cool what Bob does too, is he uh, shaves down the paddle of his stick on the points here. So it's much flatter, and he holds on to the actual paddle, it looks like, and uh, I think it's a pretty cool design and feel for a goalie. I don't know. What do you think, Trav? I think it's great. That concludes today's Stick Talk. Hello, everybody. Future Trav here. Uh, the Q&A that I was supposed to film for today, uh, I forgot to hit record. I know I'm thinking the exact same thing you are. Also, apologies for the lisp. I have my retainer in. It's still not as bad as when I had braces. <laughs>
My mother always raised me, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So I'm gonna keep my opinions to myself. But what I will say, I'm not surprised. Lucas Patterson, who's your favorite YouTuber? Well, I wanna make this very obvious. This entire channel is a massive ripoff of everything Casey Neistat has ever done with a hockey twist. I love Casey Neistat. I was inspired by his videos. I'm inspired by everything that he does. I owe all of my success on YouTube to Casey Neistat and a very good chunk of my hockey career success to Casey Neistat because I can't tell you how inspired I've been by him. And I don't think I'm here making these videos still playing hockey without him. So this entire channel, Channel. Everything I do is a rip off of Casey Neistat with a hockey twist and a shit your host. Trav, can you hook me up with some new pad glove and blocker because my family can't afford to buy new gear. I need to hook myself up with some brand new gear because I'm stuck on my G4s which I don't want to be stuck in any longer. If you are tight on cash, sidelineswap.com is a great... Dave says, how do you travel goal equipment? Could you go into more detail than that? All airlines are going to try to hose you for three pieces of equipment, which is probably going to cost you 200 bucks. If you look on their websites, they're supposed to charge one set price for hockey equipment. I don't know if you're supposed to, but I usually try to con them and convince them that goalie pads are part of hockey equipment and they don't fit in the bag so that I can carry my pads, stick, and bag all separately and then they usually have like these uh, garbage bags you can put your stuff into really easy to travel with so highly recommend you ask them for the garbage bags and don't let them charge you for three pieces of equipment you're good to go you wish you pursued a different position in hockey i think about all the time that maybe being a d-man would have been better but i do think about that all the time what could have been hashtag shoot or shoot travel you marry me you gotta wine and dime me first what was your childhood dream my dream actually believe it or not was always to own a house that was constructed of like mcdonald's hamburgers when i was four or five six seven eight nine i was kind of a chubby kid i love mcdonald's i love happy meals and i love their cheeseburgers i wanted this house built on McDonald's cheeseburgers so I could just have a cheeseburger whenever. That was always my childhood dream. When did you decide you wanted to be a goalie? Well, I was nine years old and I saw this poster of Miki Kippersoff. It was actually this one right here and I had this like, you need to do that. And here we are, 13 years later. Final question. Sharpie says, I demand you grow a better beard. Well, I uh, just trimmed it recently and I'm going to cut my hair into a mullet probably next week. I think it might look good. My mom hates the idea, but I think it's going to look cool. You know, my hair is an absolute mess. The place that's not a mess is sidelineswap.com. This place will give you some of the best deals in pro return new year sport equipment. If you're looking for new skates, new sticks, new helmet, whatever you're looking for, maybe you're looking for a GoPro, some socks, or a jersey, sidelineswap is the place to go. I get paid way too much money for these ads. I gotta keep doing them. Please go to the website. I'm begging you, please. Thank you. I'm gonna scare the shit out of these birds. If anybody in West Palm, Florida is missing a spare left tire, let me know. I think I know where it is.